a lower one. After the Mongol Empire video, lots of you guys have subscribed and we are very close to 2000 subscribers. And for this reason, I wanted to do a longer campaign. I know that a lot of you enjoy my EU4 Europa expanded videos and I haven't done one in a couple of weeks almost. So here we go, we're gonna do a very long campaign with Silly and we're gonna try to make Silly the greatest power in Europe. So I hope you guys enjoy and without further wait, let's begin. Here we are as Tzili with our 4k units, surrounded by Austria and Croatia. But of course, in Europa Expanded, Tzili has an insane mission tree, which we will use to become the strongest power in Europe. Now let's go over to our estates, summon the diet, number of allies too, yes please. Let's select plus one mana points to each of the estates as we usually do. I won't be granting too many privileges, but I will definitely need religious diplomats. And promote burgers bookkeeping is also essential. Now let's go over and seize lands. Let's grab the development edict. We will need to develop our capital five times to complete one of the missions. So let's begin doing it. What we will need as well is more units. We will get the free company. What about our advisors? We do have diplo reputation. So that's awesome. I will grab this guy. We can go ahead and get a royal marriage with Hungary with bohemia and after a few days one more there we go we can royal marry austria now to get our relations up with these boys a bit more i will go ahead and insult the ottomans complete the mission a hand of cards and now we can insist that croatia belongs to us we also gained a restoration of union castle's belly on bosnia and it says it lasts for minus one months what this means actually i think it's until the end of the game i'm not completely sure so if i'm wrong do correct me in the comments but now before clicking this button what i will do is go over to the diplomacy and i will mark all of these provinces as my vital interest if Austria joins us, hopefully this will help us get the provinces for ourselves. Now let's click it. And boom, we're at war with Croatia. We have Austria on our side and they're completely alone. Their previous overlord the Hungary has abandoned these boys. What we can do now is let Austria do all the dirty work for us while we get this unit built. I would like to have an alliance with the Pope after this and maybe even Bohemia so I will improve relation with these guys a little bit. Okay so we have secured at least a couple provinces. If Austria decides to take any of this for themselves then I will just not give it to them. We will keep the personal union after this war if we cannot full annex Croatia so yeah. Ideally we want to take all of this but in any case we won't be losing anything basically. We can send this trader to transfer trade power sure. And let's get the last development in Selly. This is super important to complete the mission to renew Selly Castle, which gives us until the end of the game plus 12 tax income and local defensiveness plus 20% in our capital. Now we can probably go a little bit above our force limit. Boom, they gave the fort to us. Hopefully they will give this province as well. Yes, that's what I like to see. So here we go, we have the whole Croatia for ourselves, we don't need to keep this personal union. We can just go ahead and full annex it. As well take their cash of course. We are only getting 4 decades out of this 100. Oh, this is painful in that regard. Boom. I could concentrate but I really like the development so I'll just score this. And let's check our crownlands now. 17%, that is amazing. Now, of course, our next objective is the Bosnia, because we have the CB. Problem is that they're allied with Albania, Serbia and Hungary. Oh my goodness. Now, Bohemia as an alliance is no longer an option, because these guys are under Austrian personal union. They even inherit their color when this happens. Poland, maybe you wanna be my best buddy now? Yeah, we can go ahead and get our new rivals. And to be honest, Herzegovina, no alliances? And they are our rivals, so what we can do is do a quick humiliation war. I don't see why we should not do this. I will go ahead and get a general. Oh my god, he's terrible. But after that, we can complete the mission. Shock damage received minus 10% for 10 years. As well, if we have a statesman, spymaster or a diplomat, we gain Corsor. Carniola area right here so some course on Austria and on Venice and we do have this advisor so let's complete it 
Please give us access, Bosnia. Thank you so much. Yeah, this guy is making a mistake. He's screwed. We just leave one unit here and let's go over and kill him. Take that, son. You can try to escape, but there's nowhere to go. Let's not forget to get rid of this edict. Now what I'm really looking forward in 1.36, they will actually have a reminder if you have expensive edicts going on. I so need it as I constantly forget to remove edicts. What we could do is get indebted to the burger loans. These are 28 ducats each now. And we can use some of the money to buy indulgence. This will help us secure an alliance with the Pope after the war. And the Pope is busy fighting England. Oh my god, what the hell? Oh yeah, they are allied with France, I suppose. Yes. Oh, this is not good for England. Friends in need, please send us admin aid. Good guys, Austria. And I'm looking at this fort right now. I don't need this crap. Let's get the royal marriage with Savoy. They are rivals of Austria, so maybe we can get that alliance. Of course. Duke's reputation tarnished. Minus 100 diplo or minus 1 stability. Classic. But hey, at least we are getting these points back. Boom, show strength. 100 of each points. Very high power projection. And of course we unlock this bonus for Age of the Discovery. Okay, we can secure alliance with Savoy, which is great. Let's secure one with the Papal State. And we have completed our agenda. Oh damn, Bosnia took this opportunity to declare on Herzegovina. I guess it's rest in peace for these guys. Is that an alliance with Poland? Yes, it is. The last jousting tournament. This is exactly what I needed for 20 years. This is absolutely amazing. At this point, I just want to get stronger than either Austria or Hungary and declare one of, on one of these boys. I think the best case scenario would be to go quickly to level 4 military. Maybe let's start focusing it. We can even get an advisor to make this a little bit faster. How about we spend some admin points for stability and then we can get a couple more privileges to make these advisors a little bit more cheaper. So one for nobility and one for burgers. Boom, we make this a state and this means that we can go ahead and reduce autonomy. So let's reduce it in all of the provinces. I'll take the 50 additional diplo power. Our force limit is 10 units, which is amazing. Let's go ahead and get one more. God damn it, poor uniforms. I think what we should do is promote Croatian culture as we have 74% of these provinces. So the plan now is I'm currying favors with Savoy and I'm gonna curry favors with Poland. As soon as I get 10 favors with them, I will declare the war. But until then, let's just try to not lose too much money. Let's take care of the rebels and of course after one year we will need to seize lands again. My loyalty won't be 50% so there will be more rebels and for that reason I am not reducing my army maintenance just yet. Okay, I have cored everything up. Now we're just losing a very very small amount of money. And honestly I don't know if I will be getting the union with Bosnia. The benefits of that are not too good. I mean it's 25% income from vassals for 20 years and some trust. But if we do this with just conquering their lands, we can get reduced autonomy in Herzegovina course and accepted culture for free. I honestly think I will be annexing them. And yeah, our power projection is no longer looking that good, so we could get some more rivals. I think I will rival Serbia and we can also rival Florence. And now of course to fix our power projection, we can just go ahead and send an insult to Serbia. And for a few more months, we will be getting more points. Here we go, the rebellions have started, let's get rid of that crap. And before that I will actually try and get another general. Uh, one shock, come on bruh. It's still better than nothing I guess. Yeah, it is now time to summon the diet. Let's go for the base tax, why not? Seize lands, more rebels. Get out of here boys. Move away. And I guess now for a little time we can reduce the maintenance. Renaissance has spawned and it's in Ferrara. So close to us, not too bad. It's already spreading in Rika pretty quickly. And honestly, this is a very, very nice province. So maybe I will be spawning the Renaissance over here. If I even need to spawn it before it spreads naturally. God damn it, Monferrad hates us. I will get one more unit. I will probably need it for my upcoming war. Maybe actually let's get two. 
Hey, that's pretty good. 40 mil power for 13 ducats. I think that's a great trade. We will be going a bit deeper into our loans, but it's manageable. Let's upgrade some of our technologies. Diplo and military. Unfortunately, no innovativeness, but at least we got a discount. Favors almost done, which means I will be enabling army maintenance. Oh damn, Venice is getting a piece of Byzantium. I guess sucks to be the Ottomans. And it's insanely good for us because we will be fighting Venice later on. If they take some of these provinces, we can steal them. Okay, we are ready boys. So now let's do this. Let's mark all of these provinces as our vital interest. And I will mark the, these provinces as well. Now we can start the war versus Hungary, co Bosnia, co Serbia, and Albania I won't be co I I don't really want to fight Venice right now. So just like that and let's select Poland as our ally. Let's go. Let's declare this war. Now first of all I will be rushing for a pest because then I can maybe merge my armies with Poland and I will let these boys do the most of the work for me. And in the meantime I will be improving relations with some other nations such as Papal State. Yeah, they're here, but all of these guys are level 3 military, so we do have an advantage and they won't be initiating fights against us. What I will do is just get defensive edict in my capital and I will siege everything I can. I actually forgot to equip this general. Let's equip this one siege guy. And our ruler died. It's not bad to be honest, because this guy as an insane trait, minus 20% advisor costs. Now our advisors are insanely cheap. The air that we got is not that good, but it's better than... Actually not better than average, but it's almost average, so... It's okay, it's okay, I'm not too picky. Damn, the siege is quick. And Poland is giving me the provinces that I wanted, so that's awesome. Actually, let's make sure they don't steal the gold mine. Relations keep getting improved, very, very nice. Let's siege this down. I will need six units there. Beautiful, going just as planned so far. Now I'm gonna reduce my war exhaustion just a tiny bit. Oh no no no, Ottomans are fighting Serbia. Oh my goodness. Please don't steal my provinces. Please don't do it. I think there's actually no way for me to get their capital now. And that kinda sucks. But I will get all of the remaining provinces, most importantly Kosovo. Pesky pesky Ottomans, man. They took the province, suckers. Burgundian succession, Aragon has inherited Burgundy. Whoa, don't see it that often. I'll develop this province just a couple times. Here we go, nice, that's additional points. We already have renaissance in our capital and we can get it in this province very quickly. Yeah, so the sieges are over, but before finishing the war, yeah, let's develop it a little bit more and let's wait until it actually finishes spreading. It's here, so yeah. Now let's take a couple loans and boom, we can embrace it for 60 ducats. That is amazing. First of all, let's full annex Albania. It's a bit of aggressive expansion because they were not co so it's double the amount. But I need to take one province at least anyways, and leaving them with one province would be kind of criminal. So here we go. We can core it up. Next, let's full annex Serbia. Yes, beautiful gold mine. So I can concentrate this area, but this one I won't because I don't want to lose any development in the gold mine. And let's make sure to core it all as well. Time to say goodbye to Bosnia. Well, we can welcome them into our country. And look at that, we have a couple of missions completed. Union with Bosnia, plus 5 land force limit for 15 years. And another mission, depose the Herzogs. Since we took all of these provinces for ourselves, we will gain Bosnian as accepted culture and reduced autonomy in Herzegovina course. Boom. Now this mission I won't finish just yet because this will actually grant us a Union Casus Belli on Hungary. So we can use that before the start of our next war. But for now what I will do is just take their gold mine. It's crazy aggressive expansion but it's definitely worth it. There's like what only 4 gold mines in Europe. Uh, oh yeah one in Castile as well. So it's only 5 gold mines and we will be holding 2 of them. I won't be taking any of the cash because I want to keep this short truce it's gonna be around eight years so here we go let's finish it 
concentrated Bosnian lands. I actually cancelled the cores because I had not concentrated before. And now we can core it all up. Massive Tilly. Yes. And I think it's now time to chill for a couple of years at least. Oh my goodness. The relations that we have with the Italians are unbearable right now. And we have 28% crown lands already. We can improve it even more by seizing lands. Here we go. 33%. No more debuffs. Everyone's entering the coalition. No, don't hate us. These conquests had to happen, boys. You can't be mad at me. I think I will get an admin advisor now. I will need crazy amount of points to get my technologies up. I will be behind for a few years. It's all worth it. I think I will exchange the Diplo Rep guy into improved relations as that will help me reduce the number of members in the coalition a bit faster. My new rivals will be Venice for sure and I guess we can go for Hungary. I mean at this point this alliance with Naples looks kinda juicy but maybe we have some better options? I mean not really. Yeah let's go for Naples. So now we have Poland, Savoy and Naples. I hope this will be enough of protection for the coalition not to fire. I think at this point I will get supremacy over the crown. I don't want to keep my loyalty for all of the states so low at all times. Now it's 50, 50 and 40 something so it's bearable. Here we go level 5 military. Oh no Savoy wants to break the lines. Why boy? Oh they're allied with Florence. And they hate the fact that we're allied with Naples and Papal State. We do have 20 favors with these boys. So maybe if we go and improve our trust, we can keep them perhaps. Yeah, we can. So that's cool. Our loans are 90 ducats each. I just noticed. So what we can do is fix our loan situation a little bit and do the classical. Let's exchange them. Take indebted to the burgers again. And we repay the older ones. Okay, this is not too bad at all. We're left with six loans. For the second tier reform, I will actually go with this one. 10% reduced advisor costs, more privileges for nobility, and monthly favor growth modifier. Why not? Let's try it. I think I like the fact that I already have 20% and additional 10% helps even more. I'm even rocking a level 2 mill advisor now. Nice, lots of cores have been finished. Give me that plus one stability, surely. This green option is worse than one stability. Oh no, Ottomans are eating Hungary up. I so hate this. They're weakening our future personal union. Man, these guys will have to pay. Hmm, I actually remembered we can go ahead and sell Renaissance to Poland. That's a lot of cash. And it will help them get level 5 military technology a bit faster. Maybe we can use them to fight the Ottomans later on. Oh, interesting. Poland is inviting us into the war versus Wallachia. Yeah, sure, let's go. You can have it, Poland. I think I will need a stronger ar army at this point. Yeah, let's get more units. Our force limit is quite large right now. We can afford it. Okay, I don't think I will be able to keep the Savoy Alliance. They constantly have this pop-up. They hate us. There's not much we can do about it. The hell is this guy's problem? He's inviting me into every war. Chill, bro. I traded more favors and I'm still keeping them on the edge. Now I will get this level 5 Diplo, but after this I will focus on developing the gold mines. Austria paid all the foreign debt of Naples amounting to 60 ducats. Wow, these guys are good. Wish my ally was that nice. No, he's just inviting me into multiple wars. For the diet, I think we can go with the proposal of clergy. This will require us to convert provinces. We can do it for a better advisor, so let's start converting Lish. And let's make sure we have the edict going on over here. Our diplomat just died, so maybe I will get this level 2 trade efficiency guy now. Jeez, that trader paid off so quickly. We already have the radical reforms, which means 200 of each points. Get out of here, boys. Temporarily, of course. And welcome back. Good to see you here. Oh, this is so perfect. Yeah, I will be getting patronage of the hearts right now. This will increase our loyalty. Whoa, Nitra just got released. And Ottomans took an insanely large chunk of Hungary. I will be getting a claim on these boys. If the Ottomans revoke their guarantee, I will definitely be going for these lands. Let's build up a spy network. And these things are no longer cores of Hungary either. 
That's completely sick what Ottomans did. They did revoke. Okay, we need the spy network now. My duke, we have been warned by the Ottomans. I swear to god I hate them so much. Nice, some nations have left the coalition and we nearly have the claim. Okay, here's our claim. And let's roll. They're only allied to Wallachia. Too bad I cannot co belligerent these boys. Come here, come here. Don't run. Don't run, Nitra. Oh my god. New champion of the Joust? I mean, sure. This guy has four siege. Okay, I like him. A little bit of a rebel infestation that I need to deal with quickly. Take that, sir. My truce with Hungary is over, but I cannot attack them because the Ottomans are warning us, of course, and now they enter the coalition. So this definitely did not go the way I wanted, but you can't have everything go your way. Nice, agenda completed. That's sweet. This means we can get this very cheap missionary strength advisor, and now we can convert everything. And let's start with Kosovo. I will definitely need an edict. Hey, let's quickly get these peace deals. Valakia, get out of here, just give me money. And of course, full annexation of Nitra. There's no coalition. Oh god, it costs so much to core this up. And now since we are at peace, let's summon the diet. I will be going for the burgers option. And I will be selling titles. Since we have 63% or at least 60% of loyalty for burgers, we have 10% development cost reduction. And we can begin developing this gold mine over here. Let's reduce the autonomy and let's start improving it expand infrastructure and there's just a couple more points let's keep it at 10 and after i convert kosovo i will develop that as well actually i think i will develop it as soon as i can change the edict again as i definitely don't want to waste this 10 percent reduction and after that then i will be able to seize lands of course we can repay a couple loans let's get rid of one of the forts this one's not too good no way man, so Aragon is now a junior partner of Castile and Aragon inherited Burgundy, so this basically all belongs to Castile. Man, Castile will be insanely powerful this campaign. Plus one corruption, oh no. Yeah, okay, I've been waiting for this, let's change the edict and let's start bumping this gold mine up. Boom, expand infrastructure. Let's keep going. Here we go. For now I'll keep it at 10. Maybe later on I will develop it a bit more. And now we can go ahead and seize lands. We were back to 33% and we have two very highly developed gold mines. Yeah, finally it's time to reduce the autonomy. We have some free time. We are not gonna fight any wars for a little bit because of the coalition and the pesky Ottomans. So we can deal with a little bit of rebels and get our economy back on track. Basically, we're just losing the money right now because of the corruption and because we're reinforcing our army. Oh man. Minus 100 with Papal States or 17 rebels in Raska. Yeah, I will have to deal with the rebels. I do have a very good general, so hopefully we can beat him. Maybe let's actually reduce our army professionalism a little bit and get some mercs. Yeah, I will consolidate this army. Get this merc group now. Minus 60 decades, man, we're getting hit by the worst events. Got a little bit of morale back and now we can spawn the rebels. Take that. More nations are leaving the coalition. Let's start improving with some other boys. Maybe Genoa. Now, plus 50 admin points I can tolerate. Even Austria has entered the coalition now. Damn, son. I guess we won't be fighting for a good while then. Okay, now we can upgrade our admin technology and military. New rival, let's go for the Ottomans. Yeah, we're making a lot of money now. First stage ability, let's reduce our aggressive expansion impact. Level 6 Diplo technology. Ottomans have entered the golden era and this gave me a great idea. We could develop our capital and get it ourselves as well. Or maybe not capital, let's develop this province right here. It's very... It's a very good province, so yeah, let's spend some Diplo points, some mill points. For this mission, we need three churches. I think we can start building some. One in Selly, and I'll need a little bit more money so I can build two more. Here we go. I would like to have more governing capacity, so I'll get this privilege. 300 is nice. Since we're in the HRE, we're capped to base 200 because we're a duchy. 
So yeah, these privileges are very helpful and I wanna stay in the HRE. How about this? Additional 10% improver relations, this will help. Oh nice, 5 additional papal influence as we speak. So the next one I will get morale of armies. Conversions going well. Nearly finished with the development, just need one more. Time to manage our loans, so let's sell titles once again and let's seize lands. A little bit more rebellion. Most importantly, we can pay off these nasty loans that we had, 4 percenters. Boom, all of them actually. And let's build another church. 30 development in this province and this means that whenever we want we can get the golden era. I will get it as soon as I'm able to level up to level 5 admin. Whoa, the Ottomans are fighting the Mamluks, Tunis, Cyprus and even a farce. Is this the moment to strike? I'm gonna go ahead and take out a couple loans and with this money I can go ahead and get the independent army and even the Hussite company. Now we should have enough troops. Next what we can take is 10% additional morale of armies from papacy points and of course start our golden era for one additional 10% modifier. He has 55k and most of his units should be in the Mamluks lands. So let's get back our diplomat. Now we can ask Naples to prepare for war. And we still have 29 favors so we can freely go and invite them. Boom, they're joining. No one's actually joining to support the Ottomans except for Gazimuk. So I think this is a very good time to be declaring. Let's go. And let's rush Constantini. I will need another general. Yeah, this one's amazing. Let's fire the other one that we had, this guy. If we can get the capital, we should be good. Mamluks will probably go and blockade him. Yeah, they're getting blockaded. Come on, breach this. Breach it. Gotta set up the spy network to increase our siege ability. Come on, boys, quickly. Well, the breach is not happening, but maybe we can take it without the breach. 49%. Come on, bro, just fall. They're gonna come and destroy us. Nice, we got it, yes. Yes, we got it. And in the meantime, Poland has basically sieged down everything over here. They're stuck on Dimashk with minus 42% siege progress. I think we can be a bit more braver and walk into Anatolia. Of course, we can try and select all of this as our vital interest and hopefully we will be given it by our allies. The best thing is that I'm above my force limit and still not losing money. Well, it helps a bit because I have war taxes enabled. Oh yeah, they're coming now. They're mad. Come here, boys. Come here, boys. I need your help. They're gonna attack me. They're running back. Okay, we got rid of that group. They're gonna attack this one in Isel, I think. They actually went back into Mamluk's lands. So that is perfect. We might win this war without fighting a single battle with them. And we can complete the mission Develop Slovenia because we built three churches. Plus one base tax in some provinces. If we have at least 60 loyalty in the clergy estate, gain a cardinal in our capital. But we already have a cardinal. I've just checked. Yeah, we have four cardinals and one of them is in our capital. So I guess we can go ahead and click it right now. For the next mission, we will need a marketplace over here. Okay, we can start building it. Boom, level 5 admin technology, finally, needed this so much. I will definitely be going for diplomatic ideas. And let's unlock the first one, plus one diplomat, very nice. How is our coalition doing? We basically only have Ragusa, Venice, Austria and Hungary in it. So not too bad at all and we can probably get rid of these guys from the coalition. Let's actually just send them a gift of 50 ducats. They left and now everyone is leaving. Which means we will have a chance of attacking Hungary finally. Oh, they're allied with Austria. Okay, I did not notice that. But maybe I can do two wars at once? Hmm. We do have some cores on Austria. Minus two unrest until the death of our ruler. Okay, he's very old, so I won't take it. Amazing timing for this awful event. So I can actually get my next reform very soon. So I'll keep this event going for now. In the meantime, we can go ahead and complete the mission Entropod of Silly. Create a level 1 center of trade. Every center of trade with a trade building gains free base production. And if we have burgers at 60 loyalty, the trade buildings will upgrade to the next level. Okay, so 
yeah, I won't be completing this mission right now. We currently only have one center of trade. No, actually two. We have one in Bratislava as well. But we can get more for sure, so we can wait on it a bit. But we can definitely start building a marketplace in Bratislava. Here's our tier 3 reform. I will be going with representatives of the crown for additional vassal stuff and diplo relation. Really like the diplo relation. Now we can select this option and we don't lose any government reform progress. We just gained a little bit of corruption, which we are rooting out. Oh, look at that. What do we have here? 16 cages sitting. Take that, Ottomans. I was hoping I can finish the war without a single battle, but this is just too good. Get wrecked, son. Okay, so he's absolutely screwed. He has nowhere to go. And Gazimuk, it seems, is suiciding for no reason. That's fine by me. Take that, son. No more army for you, bro. Out of manpower, out of units. Just wrecked. And it might be a wipe here. Yes, it was. And it means the war is done 99% war score. I can't believe how easy it was. So these provinces right here are still hungry cores and we might use them. So I'm not gonna take them in this war. So yeah, my peace deal will look something like this. I'm taking this province that is Serbian core. Basically, it's just not a core of Bulgaria or Byzantium. What is I care about? I am taking some Bulgarian and some Byzantium provinces. Now, I would normally not be taking Constantinople, but considering it's 1476 and the core will expire in 1501, we don't have that much time. And I'm not 100% certain if I will go into another war with the Ottomans in the next 25 years. So I'm just gonna take it now. Of course, I'm gonna give most of these provinces to Bulgaria and Byzantium. So let's go. Beautiful. Now we can go ahead and release our new vassals, Bulgaria and Byzantium. They will receive five provinces. For ourselves, we just have these three cores right here. So let's start coring them. We are above our Diplo relations, so what we can do is of course go to nobility and take strong duchies. Next thing I'm gonna do is sell titles, seize lands, pay off more loans. I don't like having too many loans. Let's get a new rival and I will rival Austria. Come back boys, I'll need you in the Balkans. We're one of the great powers now. The last place, but it's still a great power. Oh damn, I'll have to sacrifice some Ottoman points. I don't want to gain autonomy. Oh, how hungry is fighting the Ottomans? That's interesting. I guess it's very good timing for them as they're completely out of troops. They're building some mercenaries now though. Or it's their special units. Now I will be taking level 7 military. Let's get a few of these cannons. Oh, I'm actually out of manpower, so yeah, I can't get much. Damn, our ruler just died. Okay. So the air is not too good again. Since Venice just got excommunicated, I think it's the perfect time to declare on them. I was planning to declare on Hungary, but they're busy with Ottomans. I don't want to intervene in that. So instead, let's take this excommunicated ruler CB. Let's take Spalato, invite Naples, Papal State, and let's go. Oh, you're dead, buddy. Where are you walking, my man? Yeah, it's over for you. Destroyed, my man. It was closer than expected, to be honest. Second Diplo idea. Whoa, the Ottomans full annexed Hungary. So that's kinda not nice, as they have basically also cancelled lots of their course. But on the other hand, this has a different bonus now. Until the end of the game, Diplo Reputation plus 1 and 15% improved relations. I actually think this is better than having a personal union over Hungary. We will be getting these lands anyways. So, sure, I'll click it now. I'm not mad about it at all. Okay, so I'll actually give Siena to Naples. That just means one less nation to potentially enter the coalitions. So Ottomans are fighting Teodoro and Crimea. That's interesting. I kind of want to finish this war quickly. I do have 75 favors with Papal State, which is good. I think after I get this fort, I will be able to finish in age ability. I will go for war taxes cost. Boom, we got this fort. Now let's beat Lawrence army. Here we go. Some additional war score. And I think we can finish the war now. We're actually 
Poland is still fighting Livonian order. After this war, I will probably get a coalition. Let's see. Yeah, so if I take all the provinces that I want, it will be a little bit of coalition. Ragusa, Austria, Bohemia and some other smaller nations. So I'm gonna wait a little bit because I have a plan. For that plan, I will need a larger army for sure. So I'm gonna get one more mercenary group. God damn it, babbling buffoons, minus one diplo rep. Come on, finish your war, buddy. I'm at almost max mill points and I kind of want to switch my national focus to admin now. And with the mill points I will just develop some provinces right here. Some grassland provinces. Only 24 development. You get this? Yes, they have finally finished the war. So this means I can take my peace deal and I will take a little bit more than I expected. I will take all of their islands and all of these provinces right here in the Balkans. There we go. Now we can core everything up and before everyone enters the coalition I will declare another war. Maybe I can get Poland to join my side. Let's ask them to prepare for war. We need two more points. Can I get an advisor? Let's try Diplo Rep. And now we can actually invite Poland. So yeah, we will be fighting Ottomans again. And what I want to do is just get a white piece with them. As currently my peace deal is for 9 years and we can reduce it to 4. And of course we will remove one more nation and we will probably avoid a coalition. So let's go for this. The Ottomans will be super weak after this. 200 ducats for free or plus 1 stability. I actually will go with the stability. Whoa, that's a lot of units over there. He's actually going for it? He is, so abandon the siege. Go, 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 protect us, boy. There we go. We got a rush can Sentinople. No, he got it. God damn it, we will need to unsiege this. Another Diplo technology? Sure, let's grab it. 47 ducats. Nah, I'll take the prestige. Maybe we can kill Ottoman's troops over here. Yeah, take that, son. That's what you get for sieging down Constantinople. Time to get rid of this mercenary group. Yeah, he's screwed, he's screwed. He split his army's biggest mistake ever, boy. Destroyed, man. Perfect, we got a fort and this means we can white peace the Ottomans. And of course we can annex Ragusa now. There's no collision. And now with the annexation of Ragusa, we could complete this, but first we want to get 60 loyalty, so let's summon the diet. Great option, this one. Boom, secure Dalmatia, we get years of income. And yeah, at this point I will complete Enter Pot of Silly. We will get lots of development and upgrade our trade buildings. So we now have trade depots that require Diplo Technology 17. And we're at Diplo Technology 7. 10 techs ahead. And we got these things in all of the provinces that are trade centers with a trade building which means in this province and one in Ragusa as well. We could have did this a bit later you know with more provinces but I think it's decent enough. The longer we wait for it you know the smaller difference will be in technologies. Alliance from France definitely gonna take it. I think we don't need this fort and I certainly don't want to have one in Corfu as well. Gotta select another rival and let's go with the Mamluks why not. Lots of papal points, which means I will be investing in forgive usury. And as well, I'll spend some to potentially become the Korea controller myself. Now with the max mill points, I think I will continue developing the provinces. Oh, I actually missed this. Our gold mine depleted in Kosovo. When did this happen? Okay, so let's develop this. We can spend some mill points as well. And we can develop the provinces over here too. Now I will need more governing capacity, so I'll take another privilege for nobility. Let's seize lands now. Now if I could get 10 favors with France, they would help me out in a war versus Austria, so that's what I'll focus on. We can reduce some autonomy, why not? Naval doctrine is now available and it's free, so let's get additional ship trade power. Nice, level 6 admin. Just one more for another idea group. We can get this decision now for some additional tax modifier and missionary strength. Our amazing general with 4 siege just died unfortunately. So I'll get another one and this guy has no siege. Unfortunately I don't have very good luck with these things. 10 favors with France and this can only mean one thing. 
So let's unsiege this province, maybe get a couple more units. We can take even the level 8 military a bit ahead. One more general needed. This one's okay. And let's go for it. Let's declare on Austria. I will be reconquering all of my cores, which are those three. And maybe break some of their alliances. We'll see what we'll do. Let's go. We can complete the mission of war with the Habsburgs. And since we complete this with war, we get additional 10% morale of armies for 5 years. Very quick for That's what I like to see. Now you guys are in some trouble. You don't want to be sieging me like that. I will completely demolish them. Look at that. Wiped. Third age ability. Let's go for combat bonus. We can start piecing some of these guys out like Luca and Trier. Okay, I can actually take everything I need. This will be a little bit of a collision. But we don't care about it. Let's go. And now look at that. Unite the Slovenians. Unification of Slovenia. We have two options. Country name will change to Slovenia. Lose five years of separatism in some provinces. Local autonomy. Gain splendor. Or basically the same thing. But stay as Tilly. And I will change the name. Let's go. Our name placement is not that good right now. So it doesn't look amazing. But later on I think it will look really good on the map. And another mission is done, Fall of Stajerska. Gain Austrian as an accepted culture, lose devastation, permaclaims, let's go. Let's actually concentrate some development over here before coordinate, and now we can go for it. Awesome expansion, the problem is of course, aggressive expansion. And we have lots of it. So I will try to avoid wars in Europe for quite a while, and I will focus on the Ottomans. Now I'm pretty sure Ottomans will join the coalition if I don't declare on them right away. So I think that's what I'll be doing. Now I'll be alone because no one is willing to help me out unfortunately. I will have to fight Bohemia as well. So I think I will get more mercenaries as the truce will expire in two months. No time to wait. Let's get this group over here. Yeah, the truce is done. I will need a new advisor, for now we can take the trade efficiency one. We are blessed, Poland is helping us out, awesome. Let's reconquer Byzantium course, let's go boys. First of all, I'm gonna definitely focus on Bohemia, I wanna get them out of this war as soon as I can. And everyone's entering the collision now, so we better get our diplomat back and start improving relations with everyone that is mad about us. Which includes three leagues, Genoa and some other nations. We have stacked so many morale modifiers that we're way above Ottomans now. And we match their discipline as well. So we're insanely strong at the moment. Boom, we got Bohemia out of the war. Just give me war reps, break alliance and I'm happy with that. It's time to pay Ottomans, it's time to pay bro. I don't care mountains or not, you're getting owned. Here's our level 7 technology for admin, which means another idea group. And I will be going for the offensive ideas. Let's unlock the first one. Plus one land leader shock and we will have one more from our national ideas, which means plus two every time. Get owned boy, get owned. Wiped. He's no match for us. Oh, come on. More ducats lost. He's stuck over here. Rest in peace, boy. Oh, you're so bad. This idea is amazing. Plus 25% improve relations and another diplomat. We can dissolve this coalition very quickly. I realized my mistake. I should have taken one province in Anatolia as I cannot walk through right now. They're blockading me. So I'll have to go all the way around now. Sherwan's out of the war. Here's our second offensive idea. Come on, break this fort quickly. It's time to select our tier 4 government reform. I will definitely go for maintained balance of power plus one diplomat and all estates loyalty. I really love the additional diplomat. Now we can even take level 8 admin technology. Gardening capacity is solved. Nice, this fort is down, let's go for their capital and I think I will be finishing the war after this, my manpower is low. And we have very high war score already, we can go ahead and peace out Gazimuk right now. 
Come on, boys. Let's barrage this. Let's get it quickly. Here we go. We got it in a hundred days. Yep, take that, son. And this means that we can carpet siege a little bit. Well, not carpet siege, but just get a few more occupations. I got some rebels going on, so yeah, I need to finish this. Oh, come on, even more should be spawning. Yeah, honestly, we can get the perfect peace deal already. All of the cores back to Bulgaria, all the cores back to Byzantium, and even one province in Anatolia to connect ourselves. Couldn't have asked for more. Let's go. Rest in peace, the Ottomans. They're cut off in two parts. They still have this Balkan area. And they have Anatolia, of course. So my next objective will be to consolidate the Balkans. I have now built some barks. So let's make protect trade. And let's even get some more. Definitely need to increase my trade income. And now we can summon the diet. Seize the lands. Base production, sure. For the number 4 age ability, let's go for claims, bordering claims. It's not that important right now as the age will switch very soon to age of reformation and i think at this point i have a realistic chance of becoming the hre emperor so i will begin improving relations with all of the electors let's switch out our loans as well as we have 235 ducat loans now we can switch to 90 ones that is a lot of money after taking the new burger loans and we will be down to the five one percent ones my next objective will definitely be reducing some of that inflation. Maybe we can get an advisor for that. Let's try and reroll this guy. And I will fire the tax modifier one as well. Naples is requesting help versus Florence and Savoy. Yeah, we will lose this alliance. I will help out my boys. Still can't get this advisor. God damn it. Yeah, here's another offensive idea. Okay, so they did not need my help at all. They finished the war. And I think it's a good time for us to start annexing one of our vessels. Let's annex Bulgaria. To make it a bit quicker, we can of course get this papal bonus, papal legate for additional 10% reduction and plus one double reputation. And of course the nobility privilege, nobility integration. We can even mess with them a bit, enforce religion. This will unlock us one of the bonuses for Age of Reformation. Naples wants a royal marriage. I think I will abandon that alliance actually. So give me some soldiers. I might even break one of their alliances. Yeah, let's break alliance with the papal state. We have a very good chance of becoming the HRE emperor. And Austria has regency which will end 1501 very shortly. So let's dissolve the alliance with Naples. And let's ally some of the electors like Palatinate. And maybe even Saxony. Damn, they're extending the Regency 1506 now. Our truce with Austria has expired. I think I will be going for this war. Just before that, I will begin annexing Byzantium as well. Plus one stab, always amazing to have. And honestly, I think we are ready to go. Yeah, let's destroy these boys. No, our gold mine depleted once again. Oh, this sucks. Yeah, you guys are screwed. What the hell are you doing here? Think you can siege my provinces? Move out of here, man. Bulgaria is now ours. And wait, 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 what the hell is this? Hungary has spawned, oh my goodness. I definitely need a claim on that. Jeez, I didn't notice it. Lancet out of the war. Munich is out as well. Next, Mulhaus. Number four offensive idea, and this means we get another diplomat. So we now have six and we can constantly improve relations with everyone. There's basically no worries about the collisions now. Damn, we will be losing our heir. I kind of liked his discipline trait, but he doesn't have very good stats. I'm not going to take this 2 for 4 one Let's gamble, get a church. Oh, okay. So the gamble was pretty good. So here's our Hungarian claim. And I think I will be going for this right now, as they still only have one alliance in Florence. I think it's a very, very easy war, and we can probably full annex them. Florence is a one province miner. Oh man, sucks to be them. So yeah, I will be taking four provinces from Austria. I definitely want to have the third gold mine, and I will be taking Vienne, as it's a very insane province with the center of trade and some really, really good, great projects. I could take more provinces, but it would be crazy aggressive expansion, to be honest. So, yeah, look, if I would take this, all of these nations would be in the collision. And if I take this, it's already a bit problematic. So, 
I think this is good enough. Yeah, let's go with the warps and let's just end this. Thank you. It will be definitely time to improve relations now. Wait, what? How the hell is Poland inviting us into a war versus Hungary when we are fighting Hungary? I think I need to really quickly occupy all of the provinces. So let's try and siege them down like this. Don't want Poland to steal my stuff. And I guess I can accept. I don't know what this does. It literally didn't do anything. I don't know how they even were able to invite us into the war. So it looks like they will be stealing one province in Thames. But that's fine, it's just one province. I'm so gonna break my alliance with Poland. Man, these guys are annoying. And they of course have Wallachia, I will need that for myself. Alright, so no matter the collision, I am taking a whole Hungary except this one province that will go to Poland. That's fine by me. Now we can complete the mission Hungarian Regency. And since Poland took this province, Hungary no longer exists anymore, we can complete the mission the Hanyadi Threat. Um, Hungary loses 10% liberty desire. We don't have them as our subject. So I guess... Um, do we want to lose 10 legitimacy? Or get the cruel trait? Let's just lose 10 legitimacy. Whatever. Imperial Silly. What does this do? Plus one stab, 15 prestige. Or Silly requests Imperial Immediacy. Um, let's see what happens. They went with the option to grant it, so what does it mean? Oh, okay, okay, I see. We get until the end of the game, plus one diplomat and 15% national tax modifier. Absolutely amazing. Another mission. This is a streak of missions that we completed after consolidating Hungary. Dominate the Habsburgs. 25 power projection, which doesn't help as we have the maximum. New base tax production, manpower and silly. Every own province of Austrian culture gets the following. 20% local manpower modifier. And we have many Austrian provinces to be honest. If we go to the culture map mode, all of these provinces that we own are Austrian. So that's amazing. Yep. Oh, that's gonna be difficult to do. 180 opinion with Bohemia. But they are our rivals. Yeah, don't know about that. Too bad we can't concentrate any development because we have very high overextension. But yeah, let's score it anyways, at least bit by bit. We can even get some more crown lands now. Thank you. I will arrival Venice. Dissolve this alliance with Poland. France is requesting us to come into war. They will get a union over Naples. Okay, that's not very good for me, but don't want to lose one double reputation. They will do it anyway, so let's help them out, sure. Nice, colonialism has appeared in what used to be Wien. The coalition is looking nice, definitely nice. Oh boy, 29k rebels. Nasty work. Our manpower is completely gone. But at least we get to the max stability now. Whoa, so Constantinople has 5 great projects here? That's insane. And we can start developing this first one, which eventually will give us 24 trade value and a cost to promote mercantilism. Yeah, let's start upgrading it. Oh, this actually looks great. We could diplo vassalize Milan. I think that's exactly what I'm gonna be doing. They have really good cores for high development here in Italy. So yeah, let's start improving relations with them. Proclaim guarantee just so they don't get wiped somehow. Okay, so France has formed the union with Naples. That's cool, that's cool. Almost finished annexing Byzantium, so let's concentrate development. 98%, just a couple of more ticks probably. Beautiful, we have annexed them. Our name tag finally looks nice, it's just these couple of provinces from Ottomans blocking us. But we will fight the Ottomans very shortly. Almost done with the ideas with both of them. Only one more for offensive and a couple more for Diplo. Yeah, I think it's about time we start vassalizing Milan. Welcome bro. Time to seize more lands and we can take... 15% reduced advisor costs. Here we are, it's time to remove Ottomans from the Balkans. It's time to go, my friend. They're currently occupied versus Mamluks again. And 24,000 troops, man, you're doomed. I don't have much to say about that, you're just doomed. And check this out, boys. We have a 4 siege general, which has... 15% siege ability trait and we have another 20% from one of our offensive ideas so the sieges will be insanely quick. 
just as we stepped on this province already 14% and look at the speed it goes, oh my goodness. It took 45 days to get their capital without barraging, without assaulting, it's nuts. We became the papal controller now, oh man. For the golden bull I will go with institution embracement cost because I will be embracing colonialism very shortly. We are destroying them, completely wiping them. Let's finish the offensive ideas and enjoy additional idea cost minus 10% and let's get province war score cost minus 20%. It's about time we embrace the institution, so a couple loans and here we go. Let's embrace it for 990 ducats, improve our admin technology. Age of reformation has started and we already have two objectives done. No, we're actually losing our giga chat here, god damn it man. The war is done and here's my peace deal, there we go. Time to release a new vassal and that will be Caraman. Oh boy, coring this is super expensive, jeez, can we concentrate a bit? Yeah, just a little bit, we gotta pay. We're way above our gardening capacity at this point, so yeah, I will begin building more courthouses. And I will invest a little bit of points into expanding administration. My new rival will be Commonwealth. And since we're above our diplomatic relations, we can once again take strong duchies. Now, since I'm out of a manpower, I kind of want to get some mercenaries. I will take one loan. I'll use some of my admin points to reduce the inflation a little bit. And let's get at least the free company. I won't say no to 800 ducats. I mean, 50 diplomatic power is okay, but... I'm not struggling with it, but money I can use because I will build even more courthouses with it. At this point we can use our allies such as Papal State and France to help us reconquer the courts for Milan. So let's start that war. Would be nice to first get rid of Bohemia. I am getting more mercs though because my little stack that I had of 4000 got destroyed. Nice, Diplo ideas finally finished. 10% Diplo technology cost and we can take a free policy which is plus one diplo rep and spy network construction not too bad no the commonwealth became the papal controller now over us god damn it but at least we can peace out bohemia nah i'm not gonna take their money it's a little amount we lost our four siege giga chad so we need a new general and so with barely any aggressive expansion we can take all of the cores back for milan let's go and now it's time to overthrow Austria. You're done, my friend. Two base tax, I'll take it. Just for 2% of crown loans, not too bad. Okay, yeah, our ruler died and we have a new one. He's very balanced, free, free, free. Medici, jeez, boy. The legitimacy is not looking good, to be honest. But that's what happens when you don't have an heir. Okay, we can start upgrading our Diplo technology now as it costs so little points. I will boost my legitimacy up a little bit, otherwise these guys don't want to support us. Now since we are able to take level 10 admin, we can get another idea group. And this time I will be going for the espionage ideas. Yo, that's amazing, 15 government reform progress, prestige and admin power. Or we could take 100 mil power. I think I will go for the first option, I like the government progress. Bavaria, we can peace out. Our golden era just ended, well it served us very well as we have expanded insanely. Yeah I don't think I wanna get this air, I will rather get 5 legitimacy now that is good. People are supporting us again which is nice. Austria declared on Saxony after piecing them out, what? They cite Schmalkaldic war as their castle's belly. Um, That's very interesting but what will happen if I just go ahead and Annex Austria. Okay, let's see. So obviously, we are now the HRE Emperor. Let's make sure to add all the provinces. And I guess I can click, it doesn't matter. Boom, there's some missions we can complete. Like this one. Selly. I'm not gonna try to pronounce this, but anyways, we get chance of here, plus 50% and monthly autonomy change until the end of the game. We risk becoming a junior partner of personal union. If our king dies, but he's 20 years old, we're good. And for the first age ability, I will go with war score cost. Damn, a lot has happened. 
the most important thing apart from that that we became the H3 Emperor is that we are an empire now. No more problems with the governing capacity finally. We got an heir. Oh my god. The stats bro, the stats. I won't be able to complete my agenda on time but what I can do to save it, I can get this privilege. Go over to National Decisions, click this, and boom, we auto complete it and get 50 admin power for free. Now we can core a little bit more stuff. Um, if somehow France's heir would die, I think we could claim their throne. Now that would be insane. I definitely don't like this one province Byzantium existing. Let's declare they're protected by Switzerland for some reason. So we gotta beat these boys. Nice. Stability restored. Unlawful territory on Lubeck. How about you give it back, man? Just do it. Now we can take additional morale of armies. Will be useful for our next war. Oh, no way. Bohemia is junior partner of Commonwealth. Jesus. These boys are insane. They're the second greatest power. Damn. I think I want to fight Commonwealth after my war with Byzantium. I will need lots of mercenaries for that for sure. Come on, boy, give back the unlawful territory. Here we go, finally we have our peace deal. Let's take Byzantium, both of these provinces. Now definitely time to get more mercenaries. Independent army will do. How many troops does Commonwealth have? 55k. And Bohemia basically has none, so that is pretty good. I think we're actually looking decent here. They have Castile though. Yeah, that's annoying. But my plan is really only to take like six bronzes from them. I want Thames and I want to have all of Valachia for myself. So it shouldn't be too difficult. Okay, so here's level 10 military technology. I was waiting for this. Now we can get new units. Let's get the Culverins. I will get new rivals. Those will be... Yeah, we can rival Castile, sure. And the Mamluks. And I think we are pretty much ready to go. Now we have a bunch of different CBs. Conquest, Imperial Ban, Imperial Ban another one. Liberate Elector even. We could get Bohemia to become independent once again. But my priority as I previously said is just to consolidate these lands for now. So I'll just go with a regular Conquest War. Take Thames. I will be inviting France, Brandenburg, Palatinate, Saxony. Unfortunately I cannot get Papal State but I think it's, it's enough. France should be able to deal with Castile for me. And of course I will just full focus on the Commonwealth. Let's go. Nice, we got Krakow. Let's go to Warsaw now. And I will be barraging this. Go, go, go boys. Here we go, this is going great so far. We can take first espionage idea. Get wrecked kids. And I want to stop them on sieging Warsaw. Let's go. Destroyed, my man. Yeah, we're owning them. We're owning them. Barrage Basarabia. France is doing super well versus Castile so far, so that's good. Maybe we can get that white piece very quickly. And a big battle is coming up in Krakow shortly. Yeah, it's time to get wrecked, boys. It is time to go. Get own, son. Let's reduce the war exhaustion just a little bit. Commonwealth is down to 31k troops with no manpower. And it's time for us to take tier 5 government reform. I will be going for military engineering because I am barraging quite a lot. I love having this awesome independent army as I constantly use them to assault these forts and take them very quickly. Awesome job by France. Thank you so much. Peace deal with Castile. And we're up to 70% war score. I think I won't drag this war much longer. Let's grab 20% reduced aggressive expansion. For the second age ability I'll go with ship trade power. And now I will be going for the super nasty peace deal. As I plan I'm taking all of these provinces from Wallachia and Thames. I'm taking Krakow as it's a very good trade center with a nice monument. This province right here to release my new vassal from. And one Lithuanian province. We're also breaking their alliance with Castile. And that's it. I don't need money from them. There will be basically no coalition. Just a few nations. No big deal. Thank you. And now what we can do of course is go over to diplomacy. Release subject. We can release Galicia Volhynia. 
And next, what we can release is Lithuania. And oh boy, Lithuania has all of these cores on Commonwealth. So our next war will be completely nuts. We will be one slot above. But yeah, we have military access with Trent, so we can instantly solve this problem, actually. Let's just cancel the access, and boom, we are good. We can concentrate Wallachia a little bit, and we can start core and everything. And yeah, we have the most development. We are not the first greatest power, but that's because we have Milan as our vassal, and some of their development doesn't count, but we're basically the best nation over here. So this is guys where I will end this video. I hope you enjoyed it. It was very lengthy. Not what I usually do in one video. We went almost for a hundred year campaign. We became the HRE Emperor. We completely destroyed Ottomans. And we still could completely take Anatolia from them. Our truce has run out. So that could be our next war. Of course there's insane amount of course we can take from Commonwealth. We can still expand into HRE. Maybe into Italy. There's some very rich provinces over here. And we can continue to abuse France as our ally to do the dirty work for us. So yeah if you enjoyed the video be sure to click the like button. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so yet. And I'll see you in the next video. Peace.